very very important concept which most of you have misunderstood during your regular studies uh, again if you start me asking what about this chart it is the total electric field that i have written hello students through this particular question you will be able to learn a very key concept in electrostatics very very important concept which most of you have misunderstood during your regular studies so what exactly is the question the question says there is a conducting sphere of radius r and it carries a charge a point charge minus q is placed in front of it at a distance of 2r from its center p is a point very close to the surface of the sphere on the radial line joining its center to charge minus q the resulting local surface charge density on the surface of the sphere near point p is sigma what is the electric field at point p the question is there is a conducting sphere carrying some charge now you bring a point charge minus q and keep it here this distance distance from the center is 2r the radius r and from the surface this charge is at a distance r so this is a point charge red colored point charge minus q and when you place this charge here the question says that the surface charge density surface charge density at this location is sigma coulomb per square meter sigma is the local surface charge density here p is a point very close to the surface of the sphere on this line on this white line p is a very uh, p is a point that is very close to the surface of the sphere and around p the local surface charge density is sigma coulomb per square meter what is the electric field at point p what is the net electric field at point p that is your question give it a pause pause the video give it a thought and see if you can do it students all of you all of you have studied that if there is a conductor if there is a conductor and you give some charge to it charge may not spread evenly on the surface of a conductor when it is a sphere and it is an isolated sphere that means there is no other nearby charge around it then charge spreads uniformly if it is an odd shaped conductor it is not spherical then there is no chance that it will spread uniformly anyway if the charge per unit area at this location is sigma then in front of the surface here very close to the surface field is perpendicular to the surface perpendicular to the surface and its strength is sigma y epsilon naught i hope all of you have studied this it is a property of conductor that if surface charge density on a conductor is sigma then very close to the surface the electric field is sigma y epsilon naught perpendicular to surface of the conductor so i am i am i am i am sure that many of you many of you will give an answer like this that if the local surface charge density is sigma then field produced because of charge on conductor because of charge on conductor is sigma by epsilon naught and field produced because of minus q is q by kq by r square negative charge so field is produced in this direction only because of charge on conductor field is in this direction only so you will add this and say that this was a very easy question sir the electric field at point p is this if you are really saying this then you have misunderstood the concept this is incorrect this is incorrect the correct answer is the correct answer is that field at point p is normal to the surface of the conductor in this direction and its magnitude is simply sigma by epsilon naught it is sigma by epsilon naught it is sigma by epsilon then many of you would start arguing will this charge have no effect here yes this charge will have effect here no doubt about it the field at p is created due to all these charges as well as minus q charge field at this point is resultant of field due to this charges these charges and this charge that is a fact but the property of conductor that you have studied says that 
whatever be the surrounding charge suppose here there is a charge here there is a charge here there is a charge in presence of all these charges if the surface charge density on the surface of conductor is sigma in presence of all these charges if the surface charge density is sigma then the field is normal to the conductor and its strength is sigma by epsilon naught if you remove these charges if i remove this charge then the surface charge density will change sigma will change if i take this charge far away then what is going to happen this whole charge will spread uniformly on the sphere in that case in that case the field here will be given by this formula only but the magnitude will be different because sigma is different now if you remove this charge then surface charge density has changed totally the value of sigma has changed the formula will not change formula will remain sigma by epsilon naught but the strength of field will change because sigma has changed when you keep the charge here it attracts some positive charges and value of sigma becomes higher in presence of this charge charge density is sigma in absence of this charge charge density is something else sigma dash in absence of this charge when charge density is sigma dash field is sigma dash by epsilon naught in presence of this charge charge density is sigma and field is sigma by epsilon naught so this charge is actually having an effect here no doubt because keeping this charge changes the charge density but the formula for electric field near the surface of conductor is sigma by epsilon naught whatever be the other charges surrounding this conductor the resultant field is given by sigma by epsilon naught because if you have any doubt if you have any doubt go back to the derivation of this equation if you go back and look at the derivation of this equation you have done it using gauss law look at that derivation will the derivation get affected if there are many more charges out here you are assuming that charge density is sigma here in presence of all these charges your derivation is not going to get affected therefore the field is sigma by epsilon naught i hope you have understood this concept right while studying parallel plate capacitor this is charge density sigma and this is charge density minus sigma plus sigma minus sigma if i am supposed to write the electric field here i'll just say that this is a conductor having surface charge density sigma so in front of it the electric field will be sigma by epsilon not full stop that's over nothing else uh, again if you start me asking what about this charge it is the total electric field that i have written if the surface charge density is sigma then field in front of that is sigma by epsilon naught that's all do you think that if i remove this plate far away the surface charge density will remain sigma the answer is no if it is a flat plate the charge will spread on both the sides the charge will spread on both the sides so if i remove this plate from here now the charge density becomes sigma by 2 and sigma by 2 so if you ask me what is the field here i will say sigma by 2 epsilon naught because the charge density that i see here is sigma by 2 but when you bring this plate here this negative charge in presence of this negative charge the whole charge moves to this front face there is no charge here so charge density becomes sigma charge sigma has changed but the formula remains same in place in front of a conductor the field is sigma by epsilon naught so new charge density is sigma i will write sigma by epsilon naught try thinking over it this is a very important something very important and you must understand this so students see you in the next video goodbye